Hey everybody, happy Front Row Friday. It's Marilyn Sherman coming to you from Las Vegas. Today's topic is about time management and energy management. You know, it's not just about managing your time these days, it's about managing your energy. My mentor, Dr. Nita Quibane, the president of High Point University, says that people, they protect their assets, they protect their money, they protect their possessions, but they don't protect their time and their energy. So I want you to be aware of it's not about just managing your time. It's about managing your energy. So keep these two things in mind. Number one, think about what brings you energy, what activities, what people, what things do you do in your life that bring you energy, that bring you joy, that bring you a burst of, of uh, motivation and excitement. For example, I love going to conventions, not just because I've spent 27 years dedicated my life to speaking at conventions. I even enjoy going to conventions and seeing some of my favorite speakers speak. Just yesterday, my friend Jeff Savilico was the uh, MC of a big convention here in Las Vegas. So I was able to go see Mel Robbins do her keynote address around the five second rule. I was so energized and so pumped up after watching her speak. I was on fire. So what brings you joy? What brings you energy? What brings you a burst of of excitement and motivation. Do more of that. On the other hand, think of those things, those people that you're around, those activities that drain you of your energy and do less of that and spend less time with those kinds of people. I remember every time I was having lunch or a meeting with a particular person in my life, I noticed that I felt worse about myself on my way home than I did going. So I really had to limit my time I spent with this person because they just drained me of my energy. Or what about activities like um, going to meetings, for example, where there is no agenda? Doesn't that bother you because it's such a waste of time and energy? Recently, I was in a meeting where I was looking around the room and there were plenty of high-powered people, but the leader had no agenda. And I, I'm thinking, wow, this is a lot of wasted time and effort because there's no clear direction. So sometimes there are going to be things that are out of your control, but there are things that could be in your control. For example, you can interject and say, I just wanna manage expectations. Um, is there a decision that we are needing to come up with during this meeting? Or just wanna manage expectations. Uh, how much longer do we have to discuss this? Or can you help me understand where are we on this agenda? Obviously, you can tell that meetings that go on too long, that waste people's time is one of the things that drain me of my energy. So on today's Front Row Friday, think of two things, what brings you joy and energy and what drains you of your joy and your energy. Do more of those things that bring you energy and obviously do things, do less of those things that drain you. And if you're ever in doubt about what could bring you joy and inspiration and motivation and an infusion of energy, um, just like I talked about last week and probably the week before that is do what you can to be of service to another person because there's nothing that makes your day better than knowing that you made a positive difference in the life of somebody else. So I encourage you to go out and do that so you preserve your energy and don't waste your energy on those things that bring you down. Have a great Front Row Friday, everybody. And thank you for listening. And uh, we'll see you next week in the Front Row.